Okay. All right. Welcome back so soon. So, uh, today turns out to be a Titano Fork uh, day, it seems. So, lucky for all of you. Uh, so, yeah. All right. I was starting to get confused with the last video. So, Dan Man suggested New Order Finance, like I said in the last video, which is this project. Now, I didn't actually really care or realize that the 24-hour period was up, like, way too much. So, I probably overbought. <laughs> I mean, I bought at, like, a very high price. But with that being said, I only put, like, 135 bucks in here. And if it actually drops a lot more, I'm definitely going to dollar cost average it. Uh, probably... I don't know, probably not by much, just another 50, 60 bucks, because I don't want too much, uh, I don't really need too much of this. I mean, especially at 1 million percent, so. Alright, so anyway, uh, this was suggested on my Twitter, again, uh, you know, leave suggestions for projects. Don't just say, hey, can you, you know, cover, cover more of this type of project or that type of project. That doesn't tell me anything, alright? Yes, I know they cover more of that type of project, but I need to know what project. All right, and then I'll take a quick look. If it's good enough, I'll put a little bit of my own money in, and then, you know, I, t I tell you what I think, all right, which is why all of you are here. <clears throat> so, uh, so of course, uh, another problem with this is a lot of these Seifu-type pro projects, uh, they tend to be, so far I've been covering that uh, right as they launch. So you always have to be aware of a scam rug pull risk. So I guess technically you cannot uh, worry too much about what the hell. <laughs> you can worry. You might have to worry about rug pull risk, all right? Now in this case, they do have a liquidity lock uh, link. It's done until May 21st, so we'll take a look at that soon. But uh, Dan Man sent me this link, and I also didn't know that there's a website called Titano Forks. I know this could be a real degen play for all of you, but um, in my case, I don't have a lot of money still. Like all my, because right now I make I make okay I make good money, but the problem is I'm reinvesting every single penny into as many of pro good good hopefully good projects as humanly possible. Because I know everything's going to keep going down and up. Because as you know, you know cryptocurrencies are just very volatile. All right. In fact, I haven't even had a chance to look at crypto prices today. All right, so Bitcoin's back down or above 42k. Yeah, no surprise. Yeah, let's see what the market's doing. Uh, it's pulling back, like I said, it should. Commodities popping off, crude oil's recovering, and of course, people are buying up a little bit of the bonds. Apparently, yeah, yeah, because yeah, because these things went straight up, so someone's going to be buying a little bit of the bonds. So it looks pretty fine. Like the markets today are doing what they should be, which is pulling back a little bit. That's fine. So in the meantime, like I said in the last video, I'll reiterate it again. You don't need to put a lot of money in these Seifu type projects. That's what I'm thinking. So you just put in a little bit of money, and then like after five, six, seven, eight, ten months or whatever, you pull it all out. You turn like a couple hundred bucks into a couple hundred thousand dollars, right? Or several hundred thousand dollars in this case, right? And then just, just I guess, dump the whole thing. I mean, that again, that's another reason why... <clears throat> I actually think Seifu folks tend to be quite risky because not only do you know the APY drop is coming, right? You know, that, that that's one reason why people are going to dump. The other reason why is what I just told you, right? People put a little bit of money in and then they have to take profit at some point. So, and then they dump. So, yeah, you got a pretty nice tax rate, right? Because that's the only way that this will even try to work. But I don't know, like... If I'm really sitting on that much money and I didn't invest that much, you know I'm going to pull my profits, like a lot of it, all right? Maybe, um, so let's say, you know, it looks like right now New Order Finance is going to go down a bit, right? Well, actually, no, it's gone up a little. It's at 31, all right? Well, maybe in like, you know, by when summer rolls around, you know, like I'll have like 50 grand. Yeah, I'll pull out like, you know, 10, $20,000, you know, especially since I invested only like, what 140 bucks all right you know or maybe 200 total if i decide to dca in a little more, bit more tonight i'm only going to dca into this if the price of this drops too far so i don't know like it let's say it hits tw if it hits 20 or below i'm definitely going to buy uh you know a little more of this of course i'm going to make sure i check to make sure it's not like 
people saying, hey, this thing rug pulled, or, you know, there's some kind of scammy thing going on, dump everything, you know. And, and then it actually is, tur turns out to be true. So anyway, uh, standard 15 minutes rebase for Seifu forks. Now the tax system is much higher. All right, 15% and 25%. Like, in order to have a 1 million percent APY, you have to have a tax rate this high. In fact, I think this is too low. It should be 20 and 30%. All right, you got to take 50% out. But I'm okay with, you know, a total of, you know, 40% in taxes effectively. All right, because it, cause let's say, because you put in $1,000, you lose 15% and then or and then you have to you know, overcome the 25% sell tax. So basically what has to happen is new order finance has to go up 40% in price price action alone in order to break even. So so that's not too bad. Of course you're getting crazy APYs to kind of even things out. So, you know, it, it all works out. But, you know, the, the constant buying and selling should, you know, increase, uh, you know, the treasury and the trade volume and all that good stuff, all right? Because that's where the money is really made, the treasury, all right? All right, so when I click the website link here, all right, it takes me to this site. So it's a little confusing. The only thing I really don't like so far, I mean, the, the site's a little gaudy looking too, but the URL just kind of just doesn't really... I mean, I know this is supposed to be Latin for New World Order, or I guess something like that, Illuminati kind of thing, but, you know, I don't know. I would have just preferred if they just simply were more consistent with, you know, their symbols and the URL, so just keep that in mind. But it's Novus Ordo uh, Finance. Novus or yeah, there's not even a V in any of these words. Oh, well. Anyway, you got a million percent APY. Of course, it's on Binance Smart Chain. Very good. I like it because, you know, I don't have to deal with the stupid high gas fees, right? You know, so uh, so it's fully stealth launched. The team doesn't have any tokens. and has a low starting liquidity and market cap. So we go over here to the liquidity locked, which means I have to connect. I have to switch to Binance Smart Cloud. There we go. All right. So the reason why this happened, I actually had this error before. So what I have to do is actually go back to the home page, then click this, and then I get the actual. Because the thing is, I had to switch networks and connect my wallet, so it got it gets confused. But anyway, this thing says Coin DX app that this is liquidity locked until May twenty first, two thousand twenty two. Total supply of to okay. So I didn't actually realize this had the same thing as the last one. So I guess it doesn't matter the amount that you lock. What matters is that you lock the you lock the actual address. I think that's how this thing works. Oh, okay. Oh, so that means auto protocol really is locked for 15 years because these guys are doing the exact same thing too. Okay. I, I thought I thought you had to lock the entire amount, but then that wouldn't make sense because I know you have to pay money usually to lock liquidity, and then what happens when the you know, tokens inside the LP pool are constantly shifting, right? Uh, so yeah, okay. I mean, I, I guess I, I guess I have to take the word for it. I mean, I guess that's how it works. I never actually noticed this before. Okay, so okay, uh, the standard tokenomics thing. So you can see a breakdown of what they're doing here. And of course, the incinerator is two percent. Uh, the auto burn. I like to see a little more auto burn, but. The good news is it looks like they're smart enough to overweight the treasury, so that's really good. I wonder if there were, I wonder if the calculator actually works here. Oh, good, it works, unlike the last site. So I have, I don't know, how much do I have? I bought $35, so mine's a little down. I don't know, let's just add 3.2. Okay. So after one day, obviously, so even after 30 days, you don't really get much. I mean, you get triple the amount of money, right? Actually, you get a little bit more. Let's assume the price remains the same. But after two months, uh, oh, great. It, do, it doesn't tell me this number here. Uh, so now I have to fix. Okay, well, I will now have double this amount. Okay. After two months, I'll have... Almost quintuple the amount so after 90 days. I will have 10x the amount, or a little under 10x. After 120 days, so that's four months. I mean, at this point, I'm at like 20x. 
five months, I'll be, wait, 120 is 66, 150 days. Holy shit, dude. That's a lot of tokens. That's assuming this thing can even, uh, that's assuming, of course, the price remains the same. But, I mean, you start with a pretty low liquidity supply, so. And there, of course, there is a max supply. Usually everything's like 3.25 billion anyway. But we're, we're gonna, I'm gonna be selling way before then. I might keep a little bit, all right? I'll have to see what happens uh, in the Seifu project itself. I mean, that's why, that's kind of the reason why it kind of sucks that Surtik is going ape shit against Seifu because Seifu really is the alpha male of this type of type of niche fork. So I kind of don't want to see Seifu go down like at all, right? Because because whatever happens to Seifu eventually will happen to everyone else. All right, so I want to know what really is going to happen, right? Because again, the question on everyone's mind is: Can this actually? Can this? Can the? Can the Titano model overall hold up, right? Can it actually sustain itself, right? And it's the same question with Seifu Force. So, so the way I think it will happen is again, and this is only from previous experience with proof of stake 1.0 tokens, right? Because back then it's kind of like the same thing here in principle, right? But we didn't have we didn't have good tech, we didn't have what we have now, like ease of use of transferring whatever tokens cross-chaining and stuff and we did not have a taxation system and on time it was a real pain in the ass to set up a wallet turn your computer and a node your laptop and then manually do everything it was just it was just a problem so there's so so things are different with these because the technology is just so much better so but again as for safety reasons i'm just going to pull out my money after like basically like two maybe three months at the latest right and parcel also the earliest i don't know we'll see but definitely by the latest i'm probably they definitely would pull out a lot of uh, most of my money out and then just play with house money i still want to leave a lot in here so let's say three let's say 300 days from now so that's 10 months which is forever i'll have literally this many tokens and i only start with 3.2 as of like today right now right couple an hour ago Right, I would probably just sell like I don't know 4,200 of these tokens, right? Well, 42.06, and then you know just might have a nice even number. So I would sell like maybe two thirds. Yeah, that's actually two thirds, or a little more than two thirds. So yeah, I'll send sell 70% of my tokens and then just ride the rest, right? Just see what happens. So you know, if the price of this is even like $15 at this point in 10 months, Jesus, like. Yeah, fifteen dollars times forty two hundred of these clowns is what? Forty two I'll just write forty two oh six times fifteen bucks. This thing's lagging a little bit. That's not bad. For a hundred and thirty five dollars, I now turn that into sixty three thousand dollars. Alright? Now I have to wait ten months. So that that, that that's the thing, but Again, you know, the most money you ever want to put in is like five hundred bucks or a thousand dollars. You have a lot of money. No, no more than a thousand. Right? I happen to have like I'm I happen to be really broke because I'm constantly just buying all types of crypto and shit. So, you know, there's just money all over the place. So I have to use a much smaller bag amount, but I'm pretty happy with uh, you know what I see here. Also, this project also happened to be costing a lot more than auto, right? You know, I would prefer to buy more auto. <laughs> to be honest so yeah oh okay looks like printer financial got back to me so i gotta respond after i'm done with this video so let's see damn i really wish the calculator for auto worked yeah i don't know but either way it'll just make a lot of money right but of course we'll have to see how how things go so, all right so they have they have five developers and a community from the ground up they have weekly mas um excuse me so it's pretty funny they have uh, all this illuminati globalist conspiracy stuff right obviously we all know about the rockefellers and the rothschilds dupont is actually a pretty big whatever there Oh, this is their actual team. 
Okay. Okay, marketing. All right, they're your front end, they're contract uh, developer, there's a website designer, and a bunch of community people. So again, assuming these are the real, these are real people of some kind. Okay, this is a pretty good team. So they're actually got a bigger team than Otto. Uh, building partner, start to flex our ability to develop. Uh, and I do like their roadmap. They do have like a lot of crap going on here. So you could read this if you want. Mm, yeah, get listed. In. Okay, so they're going to do an audit with Rugdoc. All right, looks good. Looks good. So anyway, this was suggested to me by Dan, man. This thing's actually going back up a little bit. I mean, some people are already going crazy with this. So, well, well yeah, it works for me. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a little more of this, but I'm, I'm, I... I think I'm okay with my bag of this. I'd rather just wind up buying more auto because that's just cheaper right now. Because right? auto, I think, is... Well, what is auto right now? Let's see. Auto right now is $4.53. So I'm already back at what I... I'm already in deep profit with auto. Obviously, I'm not touching that. I'm not, I'm not selling it. That's a longer-term play. My ring five position is a little lower. All right. But they've been around for at least a, what, a couple of weeks, right? Liberals under a little pressure, too. So I don't know. I think tonight... I'm going to buy more auto and I'm going to buy a little more libero too. I'll do like a 50 50 because I don't want to neglect my libero bag. And it looks like Caesar might be coming back a little bit, which is great because I need Caesar, especially Sphere Finance, you know, to pay my bills for next month. So, so it's going to be pretty good. Just wish I had more effing money. So, anyway, check out uh, New Order, right? Or New World Order Finance. <laughs> Right, just be aware that this project also literally just launched and it's self launch, but supposedly the entire liquidity pool is locked for again a couple of months, right? May 21st, whatever this is. Uh, again, I don't know, these numbers look unusually low, right? But apparently, this is all you have to do. So, okay, I, I, I guess, uh, I guess this entire liquidity pool that you see here is actually locked, I, I think. And of course, this is on Binance Smart Chain too, so that's always nice. So anyway, check this out. I think I'm definitely done for today. I'm going to get other work. I mean, that means tomorrow, unless, unless better and new projects come out tomorrow, I'll go over Dark Crypto Finance and VS3 Finance. And I forgot to check. So I forgot to do this check yesterday uh, on the last video, Auto Protocol, but it's listed on uh, XYZ. So we have new order, new order of finance. So here they are. All right, and then I've got Telegram, a Twatter, and of course their website. No Discord. They don't have a Discord. Hmm. They don't have a Discord. Actually, well, they have Telegram, but yeah, they don't have Discord. Yeah. I don't know. I guess maybe some of you may want to actually wait. I guess no Discord, but I guess the because the liquidity pools kind of new. I don't know. This was created almost two days ago as well. Hmm. Let me see. But the only reason why... Okay, so... Pancake Gems. So this guy seems legit. He's got a lot of followers. This guy... Oh, this is what I was... I forgot. I forgot I was going to go over this too. Yeah, so what I was looking for was some kind of social proof. Just something to indicate that maybe someone else also took a look at the product and thought, oh, okay, I guess that this could be legit, so this is good too. <clears throat> uh, well, that's himself. Come for a grain, let a grind. I don't know who this guy is, but that that's something. Uh, the only one million percent API token. Secret Society, yep. Uh, let's see. I don't have any. <coughs> to the moon. Who's Budget Crypto? Uh, is uh, just a new person. Yeah. All right. So, so again, I would still be a little paranoid about the rug pull risk. So, and of course, you could also choose not to connect your wall to the website too. I mean, my. Camera's covering up on the upper right corner is the dashboard, so it goes to here. 
Uh, me personally, I will not connect my wall to this site, especially since it could, you know, <laughs> could really use a little more work. But, um, but yeah, I would like to really see a Discord. All right, Telegram is good. I don't use Telegram, but I kind of want to see it because I didn't actually realize this had no uh, Discord. So that's kind of an issue, actually. Join New Order Finance Discord. Yeah, it doesn't take me anywhere. It just takes me back to this page because they don't have a Discord. Uh, I could try replying to them, actually. I guess, I'll, I guess I'll do this one. This is the, this is the one on the top. Right. Hey, I'm dropping the video on you guys on my YouTube now. But I would like to see a Discord from you uh, as soon as possible. Look forward to your... Look, yeah. I look... Oh, right under here. I look forward to the project's success. I put in a small bag as a test. Thanks. Uh, hey, uh, I'm dropping the video on you guys on my YouTube right now, but I would like to see a Discord from you as soon as possible. I like to look forward to this project's success. Wait, did I actually get a red squiggly line for that? I mean, both are grammatically correct, but I look forward to this project's success. I put in a small bag. I know St. Nick doesn't like semi -cult. Well, I guess, yeah, whatever. I'll put it in. I put in a small bag as a test. Thanks. All right. We'll just, we'll just do this and, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, check this out. Believe it or not, maybe you want to wait a little bit. Not only because you want to check for the rug pull risk, but maybe because maybe this thing might be correcting. Look, look, it. It started all the way down here, like a fraction of a fraction of a penny, and it went straight up. So there's going to be some like crazy profit taking, uh, I guess, somewhere, right? And we actually saw it three times over here, right? There could be a fourth time, and it'll actually tank the down, I don't know, 20 bucks or something. So, all right. Check out New World Order. New Galactic World Order for a safe and secure society, right? All right. So anyway, check out New Order Finance. That was a lot of fun. And uh, I really hope this doesn't rug pull, all right? It's like, you know, it's like I'm breaking quite a bit of a lot of rules. But, I mean, I'm seeing and hearing, you know, pe other people going, yeah, this looks okay. And then I see a lot of people buying and selling, and but mostly buying. So I'm like, well, I know they had to have done their research too, right? So it's like, yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. The winner will get to, yeah, I mean, people are buying this stuff up right now, so. Not a lot, but, hey, a buy is a buy. All right, we'll see what happens. All right, thanks. Uh, see you, I don't actually know. I'd like to take tomorrow off, but, yeah, I, I really would like to take tomorrow off, because I have because I made some videos yesterday, I made some videos today, obviously. I don't know, we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, definitely send me suggestions, and then maybe I'll still take tomorrow off, and then what's, Oh, today is Wednesday. So that means this coming Friday, you know, I'll do, I'll do a couple more videos or whatever. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you uh, next time. You know, like, subscribe, share the channel, right? Share the videos, right? You know? Because, again, no point being on a greedy, selfish prick, right? And keeping it all to yourself because that just hurts us all, right? And you make less money. You actually lose money, right? So, you know, got a rising tide floats all boats, boats kind of thing. Yeah. Thanks.